Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us here at FCSN. We're your hosts, John Michael and Mike Johnson, here to broadcast this intense match between Atletico Madrid and Football Galaxy, another edition of the Global Challenge Cup. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to say that this broadcast has been sponsored by Dream League Soccer 18. Download anytime through iPhone or Android. Here we go, a nice play. Oh, Cora was selling the ball. Here comes Cora for football. Oh, no, Luis steals it. And we're seeing Football Galaxy play with the home kit. Uh, same for Atletico Madrid in the home kit. It's going to be a foul. Luis got injured. Here comes Savic. The shot in. In the hunt. Oh, no, not an interception. Gabe. No, he, no, it's back to Football Galaxy. Here we go, the nice play. Football Galaxy going forward. Oh, Godin, Diego Godin. Good defender, but not going forward. Nice play. I do wonder how this game will go. I mean, both teams are are strong, but we're talking about Atletico Madrid here. They're one of the top top uh, teams of the, of the Liga. I do agree, Mike. They are a pretty good team, but think again. They're not, they're not as good as Real Madrid or Barcelona. True, I guess. I mean... I mean, they did just got recently kicked out of the Champions League, so yeah, I guess you're right about that. And what a great, what a great play there by Football Galaxy. Oh no, now it's back to Atletico <laughs> Madrid. Here comes Gabi, but not with the ball. Do you pronounce it Gabi or Ge Gabby? You know what? I'm just gonna pronounce it like Gabby. I don't know. It's just I, I don't know these players, all right? That's the thing. There's nothing to complain about. Nice play, nice defense. Oh, Godin with the defense <laughs> again. It's basically a whole war of who grabs the ball. It's the same thing we saw with the recent game between Football Galaxy and Apple United of the PSL or Pro Soccer League, I guess. I mean, you know, it's abbreviation. Like MLS uh, abbreviates for Major League Soccer. It's a foul by Football Galaxy. See the replay again. Oh, yes. Yeah, he did touch him there. There we go with Coke. Pokey, pokey. Hamilton with a nice save. Kicks it up wide. Nice play here. Savic takes it away for Electrical Madrid. Now, now to Carrasco. Vaxino. He couldn't grab the ball. Comes Cafalt. Cafalt likes play. The shot in by Electrical Madrid. He couldn't do it. That was some great defense there by the Hamilton. Now Curry with the ball. Down to Longridge. He got intercepted. It's halftime, and Football Galaxy and Atletico Madrid are tied with a one. I mean, no, not even one, with a zero-zero score. It would seem that there's going to be a substitution here. The Football Galaxy, Melchior is going out, and in comes getting that. As for Antoine Griezmann. He's going out for Electrical Madrid. Wow, Antoine, Griez Antoine Griezmann going out for Electrical Madrid. That's going to be mighty interesting. And basically the top striker for Football Galaxy, Melchior, is out. So it will be interesting. But then again, it's a new, new pair of fate. Here we go. Nice play by Ginati. Ginati! Kiora with the rebound. He just made it just wide. Oh gosh, what have we just seen here? Let's see the re let's see the replay. Kinati had it all by himself, and then Coral for the rebound, but he missed it. If that went successful, that could have been the only goal for Football Galaxy. I mean, I don't know about only, but still, it was it could have been a nice play. It's offside by Yanetti. I think both. I'm pretty sure that both of these these strikers for Football Galaxy are Italian. Attention here. Longridge going for the defense. He grabs the ball. Down to Benat. Cora. Back to Giannetti. Here comes Giannetti. Nice play. Giannetti for Football Galaxy. He gets intercepted. The ball's going to go out. Yeah, it will. This will be a throw in. Nice John. If this game's going in, it's going well, to be extra time, if not even to penalties. Leinam. He passes down to Kefalt. Down to Hamilton, who kicks it away. Cora with the ball. Here comes Cora. Nice play here. Oh, O block with the nice save. Janetti looking forward, to, looking to the, looking, trying to get the ball, but he couldn't. 
O block. The nice play he got before he did. Lenon down to Thompson. Nice play down to Yanetti again. Yanetti, nice play. Yanetti scores! Yanetti has done it for Football Galaxy! And what a play! What an amazing play! Look at that! The perfect pass! He's wide open. He grabs the he receives the pass. Look at that. And what a pass that was too. But he grab he receives the pass, goes for it, and he kicks it in. Excellent play. That was a well-deserved goal. Here we go. The game is on the game is underway. Football Galaxy leading 1-0 against Atletico Madrid. Yanetti going forward. Here comes Yanetti. Nice play. Yanetti again. Are you serious? 2-0 Football Galaxy and it's Nicolo Giannetti. Again, what a play. It, I think this is living proof that Giannetti is a better player than Mercuri. And like I said before, it was a new pair of feet. It was extremely beneficial and an excellent call by Diego de la Vega. Otherwise, if Mercuri was still playing, it could have been still a 0-0 game. I'm, I still cannot believe... That Football Galaxy is actually defeating Electrico Madrid. And Electrico Madrid is losing with a 2-0 score. I mean, I'm not saying that Football Galaxy is a bad team. But, I mean, Electrico Madrid is a worldwide team. Giannetti missed that opportunity. But not. He couldn't grab the ball down to Lejina. Oh, he still couldn't do it. Here comes Fernandez. Could this be the first goal for Electrico Madrid? We're about to find out. It's only less than a minute left to go. Could this be it? Hernandez play. Hernandez. Riva Fernandez he scores it. Oh, what a nice play. It was Augusto Fernandez who made the goal. He passes it down to Hernandez, but then the goalkeeper Hamilton blocks it back to Fernandez. That was a good play. I guess that was, a, you know what? That was a well-deserved goal. What'd you say, Mike? Yeah, John, that was a really, that, that was actually a well-deserved goal for Atletico Madrid. I mean, like, like I was saying, I wasn't talking bad about Football Galaxy. Just that I was I wasn't expecting a, such a 2-0 score of Atletico Madrid. They, this looks bad. This looks really bad for Football Galaxy. The defense. Are you kidding me? Holy! <laughs> wow! Wow! The defense of Football Galaxy completely turned off. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe that they just tied 2-2. It's the end of the 90 minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Atletico Madrid has saved their butts on losing. And it's the quarterfinal too. I just realized that. Here we go. The first extra time is underway. What a game. Here comes Yannetti who intercepts with a nice play. Down to Cora. He couldn't make it. Here comes Kofold. Kofold down to Longridge. Down to Giannetti. Can Giannetti be the lifesaver for football? Guys, we're about, to, we're about to find out. He gets intercepted. Gay by with the ball. It's now or never. It's now who we'll goes. Is one basically one will go, one will one will leave. Thompson for the interception. Nice play for Thompson. Thompson. He shoots the ball. Old block with an amazing save. Yeah, Goldblatt is a is a really good goal, goalkeeper for for uh, for Atletico Madrid. But I still can't. It's it just it's mind blowing that Atletico Madrid literally just tie at the last second. That was that was a game. That was a winning game for Football Galaxy, and all of a sudden they just turned off. The end of the extra time, and holy cow, it's still two two. This is looking bad for Football Galaxy. If they don't do something about it. It's gonna go down bad. And you were just complaining that Atletico Madrid was about to lose the 2-0 score. It was a 2-1. Now it's still with a 2-2. Yeah, I know. I know what I said. But still, it was like, holy smokes. There is going to be a substitution for Football Galaxy. But AS is going in. Thompson going out. Like I said earlier, another pair of feet. Let's see how this will benefit Football Galaxy. Giannetti with the ball. Gabay intercepts it. Hey Mike, I do have a question for you. Who are you going for? I'm actually going for Football Galaxy. But to be honest with you, I don't know if they can win this. 
I mean, look at the defense of Electrico Madrid. They're stealing the ball constantly. Electrico Madrid is basically on fire now. Now that they're realizing that they're up against a tough team. Obviously, Football Galaxy is on fire too because they have to just go back, to, go back to how they were doing. Godin steals the ball. Football Galaxy back. Now to Janetti. Let's play Janetti down to Cora. Cora, no. Oh, that was a good play still, but oh gosh, that's the end of extra time. It's up to penalties. This is bad, bad here for both teams. Football guys is going first. Cora, he shoots it. It. Oh gosh, intercepted. Oh, this is bad now. Here we go with Electrico Madrid. Electrico Madrid. Here we go. It's Gabi. No, it's in. Electrico Madrid leading. Here we go with Giannetti for Football Galaxy. It's intercepted again. What the? Here we go. It's going to be Fernandez and yet again, Electrico Madrid scores. I think this is it. If Electrico Madrid blocks this one, that's going to be it for Football Galaxy. Longridge shoots it. It's in. First one for Football Galaxy. Hopefully that they can block this one for... Oh, no, they cannot. Electrico Madrid scores it. Here we go again for Football Galaxy. It's Benat. Benat, he shoots the ball. Intercepted. That's the end. That's it. And Atletico Madrid. Oh, gosh. What a comeback. I do honestly feel bad for Football Galaxy. They just lost this match against Atletico Madrid. Holy cow. I cannot believe it. But still, that's literally how life is in the sport of soccer. Ladies and gentlemen, we were your host, Mike Johnson, John Michael. Stay tuned on FCSN for the next game of Football Galaxy. They're up against Los Angeles United at RNCB Stadium. We'll see you in that game.